Welcome to my YouTube channel. Digital store for your eternal happiness. Hello, all of dear friends, how are you all? I hope you all enjoy I am going to tell you today that causes of acid reflux before I start this video, let me tell you that you are new to the channel and if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then subscribe it and do not forget to press the red bell on the side, because you can get the notification of our new upcoming video. Today's topic is ours, acid reflux disease, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, occurs due to the coexistence of several medical and lifestyle conditions. Physiological factors that trigger GERD include lower esophageal sphincter, less hypotonia, the gradual weakening of the less, along with retrograde flow of stomach contents into the esophagus, and the level of sensitivity of the esophageal mucus to the reflux content. The food that you swallow travels down your throat and is pushed by contractions of the muscular esophagus. In the area where the esophagus joins the stomach a valve-like mechanism, known as lower esophageal sphincter less, is located. The closure of this muscle prevents stomach acid from backing up, or refluxing, into the esophagus. Less malfunction is the first factor that causes and contributes to gastroesophageal reflux disease. In a healthy individual, the less relaxes only when food passes from the esophagus into the stomach. After the food passes into the stomach, the valve shuts off, keeping the stomach content and acid inside. However, when the less is weak and doesn't close properly, acid can splash up into your throat causing painful burning sensation, called heartburn. There are several factors, conditions, which can prevent the less from being closed properly. These factors, conditions include genetic weakness, obesity and excessive fat ingestion. In addition to that, all muscles in the human body tend to sag as part of the aging process, including the less. The second factor, or rather the group of factors that causes gastroesophageal reflux disease, are behavioral and lifestyle related. As mentioned above, a weakened less is one of the direct physiological causes of acid reflux disease. Various food ingredients, drugs and nervous system processes can weaken this muscle, thus contributing to GERD. Foods that may contribute to acid reflux include orange juice, lemons and lemonade, grapefruit juice, tomatoes and tomato juice, french fries, sour cream, coffee and tea. Acid reflux can also be the result of fungal yeast infection that builds up in the colon. When candida albicans turn from yeast to fungi, they depress the immune system and produce more than 79 distinct toxins that may be responsible for many of the symptoms that candida sufferers have including heartburn. When candida gets out of control, it breaks through the intestinal walls and travels throughout the body. It can attach itself to the genital areas, the mouth and the esophagus among many other parts of the body. When candida goes out of control, it begins to ferment and reflux the contents of the stomach upward through the small intestines, through the stomach and then through the esophagus, causing infection, burning and damage to the esophagus. For more information visit our website our website link is available in this video's description. My dear friends I repeat. For more information visit our website our website link is available in this video's description. Thanks all of you very much thank you.